The complexities of head and neck cancer, I think, are around the fact that a lot goes on in a very small part of the body. Breathing, swallowing, speaking all happen in the head and neck, and those functions are very important to people in day-to-day -day life. We don't want patients to lose too much weight during their treatment, and we want them to also keep the muscles of swallowing very active. So the more that we can keep them on an oral diet and eating as much as possible, is better for their outcomes. The speech pathologists work with you on exercises that you would literally physical exercise that you would do with your mouth and your tongue and your neck. They gave me exercises to do to keep the muscles so the muscles didn't atrophy in my throat. The team approach at the Dance Center is amazing and unlike any hospital that I know of in that we have such an integrated multidisciplinary team. The team is comprised of our otolaryngology nurse specialist, a speech pathologist, our oncology dietitian, and an oncology social worker. We meet with patients and their families to discuss where they stand at this point in their diagnosis leading up to any treatment and also to help educate them on what they can expect during and after treatment and into their recovery and survivorship. We work closely with our doctors, all of our MAs, they're all here in the center and to be able to just run down the hallway when we have a patient that needs any kind of dietary needs, I can run to our dietitian and say, hey, can you jump in here for a minute and be able to talk to my patient or my patient is having a difficult time, I can just go knock on the door of the social worker. To be able to just have that readily accessible for our patients, that's big. Being able to help someone get back to eating when they have lost that ability to sit down at a table and eat dinner with their family is a great feeling. We all know that it takes all of us to help people get through their treatment and into their recovery.